Holy shit, balls, we're back, baby! Man, I miss this song, too. And today we have an absolute heater. All right, if you're a car enthusiast, then you know exactly who we're talking to. I think every enthusiast at some point has sat and watched David review cars and give his kind, sweethearted opinion on them. I'm running out of here. But that's the problem. That dude in blue is nice. Almost too nice, all right? And I'm ready to get to the bottom of it. David has been making videos reviewing cars since 2012. That's 10 years ago, by the way. Holy shit, let that sink in. In 2012, the movie Fifty Shades of Grey came out. Hey, David, thoughts on filming Fifty Shades of Blue? <laughs> no? Maybe? What do you think? Huh? Yeah, scroll back a little bit. Bumpkeds, am I good right here? That Doom Blue has over 900,000 more subscribers than Taco Bell, but is he worth it? Today we sit down with an owner and have a good old chat. Driver to There you go. Driver season four, we got Barstroke Limo. I We're back, baby. Welcome back. Driver, driver, season four. We got hood scoops. We got underglow. The desk is modified. We don't even need modified cars anymore. Let's see what we got going on here today. Who's going to kick this off? It better be someone decent. Oh, all right. Today, we're here with a very special guest. We have Papa Smurf. That, that dude in blue. That dude in blue. David, David, that's who we got. How the hell are you? Uh... Not paid to be here. No, that's true. Um, that's awkward. <laughs> also, I want to apologize right away. I'm extremely embarrassed. I'm so sorry, David. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Uh, I talked to my crew. I talked to production. <laughs> Edgar, we've talked about this. I'm honored. Yeah, well, I'm not. So, Edgar, thank you for fixing that. But... This might be your last episode. Oh, now that we have the story straight here and we're good to go, you ready to hop into this? Oh, absolutely. Let's right. do it. Let's do it. Oh, don't forget wheels, tires, and suspension. <laughs> Fitministries.com. I was nervous the glass was going to break, but didn't. <laughs> I'm a good host. It's a good set. So, all right. So since the last time we talked, I think we did over quarantine a little bit. That was a weird time. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, what's new? What's going on? Uh, lots of traveling, lots of filming, and just trying to change things up and always stay fresh. I heard that. Kind of like Subway's motto, too. Yeah. Stay fresh. It didn't go so well for Jared. <laughs> No, no. Uh, 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 next, uh, all right, so, okay, we're going to just cut the shit right away. We're going to get into this. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty. I want to know some secrets of that, Doom Blue. Have you ever lied about liking a car to make the owner feel better while reviewing it? Once. Oh, he knew instantly. Like, it was like, bing. Oh, yeah. Car almost oh. killed me, too. Oh, so, my God. Yeah. Why? Uh, the top hat of the coilover snapped off, the brake caliper was mounted wrong, so you would brake and it would go all over the road. Uh, the harnesses were mounted to the floorboard, could break my neck. Oh my God. Shh, need I say more? Do you it was have a dangerous haters car. haters that want to kill you or what's going on? Uh, somebody at a car meet did loosen my lug nuts once. That's so messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. True story. That's I yeah. don't like that. Don't loosen his lug nuts. He's a nice guy. Dang. I even said, I was like, we really want to open this with David. He's like the nicest guy I know. He's like borderline too nice. You know what I'm saying? I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of the one suck challenge? No. All right. Well, it sounds like I shouldn't have anyway. You got a Capri Sun here for you, David. Oh, so I'm actually really excited. Yeah, about you this. should be because it's the one suck challenge, baby. So here's the rules. You got a Capri Sun, you got the straw, you can do whatever you want with that. But the rules are, you're not allowed to swallow and you gotta try and finish the Capri Sun in one suck. What, did you blow up my chair now? Yeah, careful, Probably. Jesus. 
Hey, I have a pretty good track record, okay? Well, I've seen a couple videos, but we'll get into that. Yeah, a couple. <laughs> Out of how many? <laughs> All right, so I have to do it in one go. You, one go, you can't like swallow though. You gotta, you only get one swallow. That's oh. the key thing. Oh yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. It's, uh, it's hard. It's been done, but it's hard. I'm asthmatic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's a drink. You don't gotta breathe. You'll be all right. I... <laughs> Are you... <laughs> if you don't want smoke in the air, then don't blow up my chair. Careful now, careful. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that, if you didn't make me laugh, I would I was, I was, I was uh, I was almost there. Dave, it was so the one suck challenge, not the you suck challenge. What do you? I mean. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'll have you know, I would have one sucked this no problem. Do you have a Swiffer? <laughs> That's enough out of me. Let's hear for our, our extremely cool and loyal. YouTube community! Woo Excited, these are from the people. So, starting off, we have JJO2MC and he asks, what's the absolute worst f up you've made while working on a car? While well, working on a car? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of specific. Uh, honestly, it's probably when I was learning how to work on the 2J yeah. in 2015 or 16 and I just did basically all the gaskets wrong. You know, so the moment we really, because I literally have nobody in my family who was in the cars, yeah. nobody. So I was literally learning how to rich my first time, all on camera, which, you know, at first seems like a great idea, right. but then it just makes people go, wow, you suck, dog. Like, <laughs> you know, because- yeah, I've seen it, the Capri Sun but, thing. But guess what? What? They're right. Like I had no skill set back then. Right. And. I learned the hard way and I didn't even have to turn the motor over, right? It wasn't until I got down to Georgia and I had people inspect it and be like, yeah, your re rear main is done, your uh, valve covers are done. Like all those gaskets you ordered, you yeah, Basically what he was saying was. That's right. Right. That's right. Airheaded Aviator asks, do you ever get recognized out of the blue or only in it? I think I just, I think my heart <laughs> you just <broke> stopped. <laughs> you broke <Yeah>. up. <laughs> He's asthmatic. Medic? Uh, no, oh. I, oh. I, uh, I get, I'd say there are those moments where I'll be like grocery shopping or something. Yeah. So be like, yo, you grocery shop just like me? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he eats food. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> but no, I mean, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a great interaction when I meet people who have ever watched. Even if they, you know, they're an old time viewer or a new time viewer, it's usually a great experience. Darren Colblentz wants to know, why are you uh, hesitating? Uh, <laughs> out of all the colors of the rainbow, why would you choose blue, the one color that is associated with blue balls? That's really unfortunate. <laughs> I know. That was, it was, again, just oddly specific. Uh, I don't know. I think, it, I mean, the short form story of it is uh, on YouTube, there used to be video responses, mm -hmm. which were like video comments. Right. So instead of typing your comment to hate somebody, you could video record yourself to hate somebody. <laughs> you know, and um, so some people will take these YouTube channels and take advantage of the video response. Right. So way back in the day, um, Philip DeFranco, big channel, obviously. Oh, gee. He, uh, he had a movie club YouTube channel. And um, basically what he would do is give a Netflix code out and then he'd be like, hey, we're all gonna watch this movie, and then you're gonna review this movie, and then put it as a video response, and then I'll put you in the montage for the next episode of what we just watched. So I was like, oh shoot, I'll, uh, and he always gave everybody like trendy names. Yeah. And I literally was wearing a blue shirt that day, and I was, I was like, okay, I'm that dude in blue. It was that, that simple. That it was, was a throwaway it. YouTube account. Times were yeah. so simple back yeah. then. You could just wear a blue shirt and start a YouTube channel. All right, Ops, oh, Ops simply says, I'm listening, so tell me the story about a little dude that drives in a blue car and all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue, like Stop him it. inside and outside. Blue his house with a blue little window yeah, and a 240SX. Oh, 240, uh, okay. And everything is blue for him and himself and everybody around because he ain't got nobody to listen. He's blue, da ba dee da ba die. Now, yeah, that was... Touching, that was deep. But we're gonna stop there because the YouTube community is getting, they're getting a little, they started, you know, they they started, the, all right. So enough out of the YouTube community. We got some more questions though. 
Okay, this is a little bit different here, but uh, I have an important question for you. I'm ready. First of all, do you recognize this car in this photo? I sure do. Okay. That, second of all, that's an import alliance. Yep. Do you recognize the man in the photo that's circled? Yes, he works here. Really? Yeah. Mike, come on here. Hey, that's amazing. <laughs> Mike told me he specifically stood in your video so that way he could be in it. Back in hey, 2015. That's, that's fine with me. Somehow he managed to wear the same yeah. shirt that he was wearing in that photo too. Was that a plan? No, actually not. Yeah. This is a similar shirt, but not the same. The stars All right, Mike, align. that's enough. Eye. You're stars align. <laughs> okay, you can keep that. You can frame it. Oh, I can't Don't wait. fold it. Don't crease it. Okay. So me and you both know you blew up an 800 horsepower Subaru while reviewing it. Sure okay, did. That happened. Uh, what are your thoughts on Subaru? No, Subaru. Subaru as a whole on reliability? It depends on the generation. Okay. That's, that's my theory. So I have friends at Off the Line Performance, which was the car I was driving. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, it was a bad head gasket. So they before. fixed it literally two days later. Um, so it wasn't some catastrophic failure like right. I thought, which was like, thank God. But <laughs> it's typically um, catastrophic. I have to say, and I mean this completely out of love, the most cars that have broken on me during reviews were Subarus. I know! They're all broken. Every first sale ad says it's on its third motor. Well, I think, so what's really, I find this really fascinating about the Subaru community. And Is you know, that they like, keep buying them? Okay, <laughs> listen. It, when I want to be very specific, especially okay. the modified Subaru community. Yeah. What I've had in my experience was that when I talk to a Subaru guy, and they build a motor and they do everything. They're like, yeah, I'm on my third motor. My second, uh -huh. like, it's no big deal. Yeah, it's and normal. I, and it's I like go, maintenance. you know, that's not normal. <laughs> like in other platforms, you could literally have one motor last almost forever if you take care of it. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, that's not true. Um, like, they're I was, like brainwashed. No, I literally, I went on a car review like two years ago, and I asked a guy how much money he thought he I had in my Bolton uh, white Mustang, and it made 475 wheel. I had $700 in the car, total. That's not too shabby. Total. Yeah. I asked him That's how much, heard of. but I, had a, I asked him how much he had in his Subaru that made like 350 horsepower. Yeah. It was like 40 grand. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, they're a different what? breed. It, 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 the dedication is real. Like, and I don't know I what they're to dedicated to. to. What, are they de what are they like? I, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know. I, well, yeah, unequal equal. Yeah. Yeah, but it's uh, no, they're fun to drive cars. I think the hard thing about it is when you filmed every generation before, it's hard to review them again yeah. because they use essentially the same engine for 20, 30 years. So and they just that's keep the popping. only downside. Boom, yeah. Boom. Boom. All right, time for our newest segment called Getting Zoned. All right. David, I'm gonna give you 150 bucks. Me and you, we're gonna go to AutoZone, not sponsored by the way, they didn't give us any money either. But we're going there and you're gonna buy the best car parts there that you can, the most fun ones. Let's see what we can get. We're gonna go back to when we were 16 years old and we walked through the aisle. You know the, the aisle I'm talking about. Oh, I know that aisle. Yeah. yeah. All too well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. I gotta put my head on it for going out in public. Get in the zone. AutoZone. All right, we're back, baby, and we got the goods. David broke the budget, which was against the rules. But let's take a peek at what you got. We spent 160, by the way, if you're wondering if you wanted to pick up similar items. Hopefully you don't. Let's start get, off with that. Get at the store now for a special <laughs> offer. That's of, like a... Uh, of this arrest me gold windshield, <laughs> windshield wiper. I feel like that's what like Kim Kardashian would put on her like Rolls Royce or something. <laughs> that thing's nice. That's yeah. luxury. The packaging is spectacular. <laughs> That's Shit. honestly probably one of the nicest parts about it's it. It's probably is higher the quality than the wiper. Hey, well, try to keep this clean a little bit, all right? That's, I don't want to get it all messy. <laughs> My desk kind of sticky. And I think that was your well, fault. Well, we have a couple adapters. Great. Okay. Um, great. And then. Well, we put these on anything. Oh, look, it didn't come in pairs. <laughs> Well, okay. You know how some people have like one gold tooth? You're going to have one gold wiper. Will it snap? Who Try knows? it. Let's give her a Just don't hurt yourself. Dude. Oh, oh no. Wait. No. It, I think it. Oh, <laughs> wait. No. Okay. All right. I was about to say we could use it as like a fishing pole because it was doing good, but then you ruined it. So 
Uh, the AutoZone employee said they couldn't keep them on the shelves and they were like, flying off. He wasn't joking. <laughs> are you kidding? Why? Why? How were you raised to think this is a good idea? What is it even? What's on it? Like tattoos? It has, okay, it has like a woman doing her makeup and to be super artsy, it's select color <laughs> with only this. Because it just represents emotion, That's right? That's beautiful. Just, and then there's, I didn't even notice this. This <laughs> random skull dude wearing a wife beater. <laughs> and and a D, I don't know what this means, and wearing aviators. That's okay? sick. So then he's like, it tells a story. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's remember beautiful. those pop-up books as kids? Just oh. buy this. It's all you need. All I have to do is go like this and go, wow, look at all the mistakes I made purchasing <laughs> this thing. All right, what else we got? We have a classic move over sticker, but it's not backwards, <laughs> so it doesn't work anyway. So if someone looked in the rear view, you'd be screwed uh, up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, 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 who knows? <laughs> but they put a GTR on the thing, so yeah, it had R35 the... owners are using those. Yeah, D, it was a D badge R35, so they don't get sued. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally. You should try to apply it on my desk. That's not going to work. Come on. But not Goodwill. <laughs> All these years of filming cars, and this is what I'm doing. You've peaked. This is it, baby. This is showbiz. Here we go. All right. You know, you've installed these before, right? No, never. <laughs> Man, uh, I just want to say welcome to That Dude Blues Rap Shop. Uh, we actually do <laughs> an expert job of not caring whatsoever. And uh, here we go. You ready? Oh, look, it actually got an upgrade because now you have a double decker sticker. There we go. Have you ever taken a double decker? No, oh. here we go. Check that out. Move of a jar. There, that's perfect. You did a lot better job than what I thought you were going to do. You know what? Man, what have I done? But made the desk. if that sticker doesn't get you going, <laughs> I just stepped on the rest of the product. <laughs> How about some wolves? Oh, that's sick. The dream catcher wolves. Turn it the around. The dream catcher wolves. Yes. I used to have wolf shirts back in the day. They were pretty sick. Yeah. It reminds me of that. Yeah, did, did you ask your prom date with it? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Beautiful artwork, just so inspiring. Oh, there's, we got a two-for-one deal. Man, what a value. That was, that was value. I, I don't know how much it was, though. Um, so here we have the, gel the classic fake fender vents. Those are sick. This is a highly contested debate. My Supra on has which those. Ones to buy. And uh, I actually see more people buy these for real than well, probably yeah. anything else in that aisle. You're, you're absolutely right, but it's I'm looking at you Chrysler 300 owners. I mean, Toyota <laughs> Supra owners, we got more fake vents than, than that package. I should have gotten these to cool my 2JZ before it blew up. Oh no, this says six. Oh, it did come with six? Yeah. I it thought it came with three. Me too. Well, it's got to come for three with each side. That makes sense. Yeah, but. An odd number wouldn't but that, work. Well, that aisle, do you really expect any less? No, they did give us one windshield wiper. Well, True. normally they're different lengths. So I know, but yeah, it just made it even better. Yeah. But basically. One gold tooth. These are sick. These I'm literally going to put on the desk. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Man. <laughs> it's a real... Real tree. Tree. No, these are real trees. <laughs> are they though? No. That's what I thought. Yeah, come by for your stylish needs of your car. I feel I feel like I could get with my cousin. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we got. So thanks to that dude and boo for coming on the show or that dude and gray if you're a dog. Don't forget wheel starts and over at fitmistries.com and make sure to go subscribe to that dude and boo! You ruined my hood scoop. I didn't ruin anything. You put Capri Sun all over it! It made it better. Alright. <laughs> that's my line. That's my that's what I do. That's my line. <laughs> Wait, should I just be that bro who does this? No, you're that dude. <laughs> That's kind of sick. Where'd my sunglasses go? <laughs> you want the seat covered? <laughs> <laughs> right, I got, I got shit to do. <laughs>